Now, the other thing I want to talk about is adding a couple of items to the side menu on the left-hand menu. And the first of those is a My Grades area. I'll go up to the top of the menu, and I hover over the little plus here. And I'm going to add a tool link. Remember the tools that we deleted in the first course organization video? Now we're going to add a tool back. And I will click on Tool Link. And now I'm going to select My Grades. And that'll be a nice link on the side so the students can always check out what their grades are. And now you'll notice that here are all the tools that were on that long list of tools in the Tools area. And I'm going to browse over and find My Grades again. I will check that box to make it available to users. And click on Submit. And there it appears on the very bottom underneath the bag of tricks. Now I'll drag that up. And students probably want the My Grades almost as much, if not more, than they want the syllabus. So I'll put it right after the syllabus. The other thing you might like to do is to have an email that when students click on it, we'll go right to the faculty member. So now I'll add not a tool link, but a course link here. And you'll notice I can browse over. And I get the pop-up. Let me drag this pop-up over here. That's a pop-up of my entire menu. That's a really handy thing also. It shows you everything that's on your site. And if you notice, if I click on the plus, it expands everything. Everything that's in folders or anywhere. And if I click on the minus, everything contracts again. You can usually find all of your stuff there pretty instantly with not without having to figure things out on the side menu there. And students have access to that too. So let me hit browse and send email. I have all of these options. And I can send it to all instructor users. Now instead of the name all instructor users here, I can type in email professor. And I'll make that available to users and I'll click on submit and there it is. And I might want to put that right underneath my grades. And I might want to get rid of the other send email if I don't want students emailing other students. And that's basically it. Now when student clicks on email professor, instead of going to that generic send email page, it actually starts the email immediately right to the professor. It's a little bit nicer.